Salut et bienvenue, welcome to our grammar EBIs. This is EBI 14 today. If you're watching this video, it's because your teacher has put EBI 14 on your work using intensifiers. Now, good news, this is an easy EBI to fix. You should never have to watch this video again after today. Now, using intensifiers is an easy way to make your work stand out, to make it look more advanced, and just to put some really nice vocabulary into your work, into your French. It's going to impress the examiner and make your French more advanced, simple. So today's lesson, or today's video, and the daily tests will really help you out, but it's a long-term commitment to get good and to master French. So here's our long-term steps to make sure you've sorted EBI out for next time and that your French has drastically improved. So first off, you need to learn the key intensifiers we're looking at today and the key intensifiers in your daily test, you need to learn them off by heart. Luckily for you, Memorize is there to get into your long-term memory. There's an intensifier vocab room just for you to so spend 15 minutes every day on Memorize. Spend 15 minutes just practicing your vocab and it will be in your long-term memory for the rest of your life. The second thing you need to do when you're preparing for our next assessment, be that speaking or writing, you need to use the intensifiers we look at today in your work. So when you're giving opinions, just give them that bit more bite and, and, and give your vocabulary a bit of a boost by using these ideas intensifiers that we're going to look at to make sure your opinions are stronger. Practice makes perfect. Write it into your mother answers when you're doing your long list of questions. And then in the real exam, when you're doing your writing exam, your speaking exam, under that time pressure, these words will be there to use to get you the marks that you deserve to get your top grade. Your extra challenge, like always with all of these EBIs, is to write them down on a post-it stick it up somewhere this is a tried and tested method i used to do it myself stick it on my mirror and then every time in the morning when i looked at my mirror i used to go through the words in french and in english to see if i knew them and learnt them when i had i took it off and i invariably replace it with some new words to learn or something else to learn this is an extra challenge today but it's good practice for you to master intensifiers so let's have a look we're going to do a few activities to warm you up and to get you used to and learn enough by heart some intensifiers. Et voilà, donc le premier activité, c'est facile. Ici dans la boîte bleue, vous avez le vocabulaire du genre en français. Ici dans la boîte orange, vous avez les mêmes choses mais en anglais. Donc aujourd'hui, vous avez deux minutes. Um, le cible c'est 5 aujourd'hui. 8 sera bien, 10 sur 10 sera fantastique. C'est simple, hein? trouver la paire entre le mot en français et l'équivalent anglais. Voilà, vous avez deux minutes à faire ça. Put me on pause now. I know you'll know some of these, some you would have never seen before, but you can work them out. See what you can match up when you think you're done. Restart the video and I'll go through the answers. Bon courage, on y va. Alors, mes petits, if you listen to me now, you're ready for our answers. Let's see how many you've got. Alors, numéro 1, très veut dire very. Numéro 2, assez veut dire quite, un peu, ça veut dire a bit, trop is too much, remember it's trop, not trop, you can ignore that P but you have to write it, j'aime trop faire ça, I like too much to do that. Numéro 5, vraiment, so we've done like vrai and faux activities when we do listenings and readings, vrai means true, so vraiment means either truly or really, voilà, vraiment. Même chose avec totalement. Any word in French that ends in mon usually ends in ly in English. So vraiment is truly or really. Totalement is obviously totally. Et tellement is so much. This is a really useful word. You could say, alors je n'aime pas tellement faire ça. I don't like doing that so much. I don't really like doing that. The examiner would love it. De plus en plus is more and more. De moins en moins is less and less. And then this is the key word, plutôt veut dire rather. Voilà, love that word. These are 10 key intensifiers. You can learn them, you can use them, you've got to know them off by heart. I want you to use all 10 of these in your speaking and writing exams. You've seen them, you've matched them up, but you need to know these par cœur. Alors, la prochaine activité, c'est exact. Exactement la même chose, mais cette fois, j'ai pris les lettres clés. Donc, il faut compléter la phrase, puis il, trouve, il faut trouver la paire entre le français et l'anglais. Et oui, 
j'ai changé l'ordre de l'anglais. Donc, les lettres sont différentes. Alors, donc, par exemple, numéro 1, on sait, c'est « très ». Voilà, donc « compléter ». Et puis, tu veux la phrase « très » veut dire « very high ». Voilà, « beautifully done ». Put me on pause for two minutes, see if you can complete these and match them up. When you think you're done, recommencez le video, I'll go for the answers. Hello, mes enfants. Right, guys, if you're listening to me now, you've had a go at this. I want five today. You should get the first four. It goes très, which is very, assez, which is quite, un peu, which is a bit, and then trop, which is tu, as in T-O-O. -O. All right, if you've got the first four, I just want one more to hit par five is what we're after. Vraiment is really or truly. Totalement is totally. You need to spell these perfectly to get the mark. And then c'est plus nafdis. These are the plus compliqué. These are the really good ones. Tellement is so much. De plus en plus is more and more. De moins en moins is less and less. And then my favorite, plutôt, means rather. Look at the circumflex on the O. Circumflex means that little house or hat. Voilà, you need to get all 10 of these. So guys, those are our 10 intensifiers that you must know, that you must use to get rid of EBI 14. Um, watch the next slide. You still got a daily test to do to make sure you've conquered this EBI. The next slide will explain all about it. Hopefully, I'll never see you on this video again. This is a conquered EBI. Well done for watching today. On you back. Your next step is your daily test. So. Your French teacher will have set you this for your homework. You've got your daily test booklet. Do not write in the booklet. What I want you to do, step one, is in your pink books, copy out this box, copy out all the questions, copy out all the answers, and then copy out the blank test next to it. Then you're going to revise all the answers here so you're going to spend your time learning this make sure you master it once you've got it this is what i want you to do cover up the answers make sure you can't see them and then in the blank test that you've copied out take out your red pen see if you can answer all of these questions and see if you can fill in any boxes then once you've done that uncover this and look at what you've done and mark up your work. What have you got right? What have you got wrong? And then have a look. This is the ideal bit. Rinse and repeat. Go back to the start. Revise the answers again. And then test yourself again. And then revise again. And then test again. And then mark again. And repeat, repeat, repeat. Until you've absolutely cracked it. And then if you've cracked it. Say you started Monday. And by Tuesday you know it off by heart. Great. I bet you by Friday you will have forgotten it again. It's called a daily test because we want you to do it once every day. And the best students do this. Test yourself every day. If you can do it for five consecutive days in a row and get 100%, you've cracked it, you've got it, you've done it. So that is your homework for next time. Your extra challenge, guys, is to make a revision poster on this. So why don't you watch the video again, pause it, make a poster, make it look amazing, stick it up in your room or show it to your French teacher. Show to make sure you've mastered this. This is EBI 7. It is so important. Hopefully now you're happy and you can crack it. Thank you for watching. A bientôt. Au revoir.